Oh my God, you guys, I'm shitting. Okay, um, well. Jeremy got invited to the mother Grammys. Let's go home. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. I needed Truebill like multiple years yes, ago. Yes, you did. <laughs> Yes, you did. I'm so bad for this. I don't know. You, you, you're possibly the worst. Like the amount of subscriptions that I have completely forgotten that She's I was paying about. one Instagram ad and just subscription, subscription, oh subscription. Oh my God. It's, it's honestly too embarrassing to reveal. Don't fall for subscription scams. Don't do it. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash wild. Go right now. No, no, like right now we're waiting. Truebill.com slash wild. It could save you thousands. That is truebill.com slash wild. Bombas' mission is very simple. Make the most comfortable clothes ever and match every item sold with an equal item donated. So this holiday, when you gift Bombas to someone on your list, you're also giving them to someone in need. It's a give, give. I also just want to say that I have my Bombas socks on right now. I too have no my way, Bombas socks do? on right now. Oh my God. No, no <gasps> I told you, I, 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 took, I took every sock that was in my drawer that was not Bombas, I threw it out. <gasps> I, Bombas owns my feet. They own it. Wow, yeah. exclusivity yeah. rights. Yeah. yeah. Bombas makes everything soft, seamless, tagless, and has a luxuriously cozy feel. Their products are made from super soft materials like merino wool, pima cotton, and even cashmere, which, oh, shmir. Shmir, which makes them the perfect cozy winter layers. I have been loving their t-shirts recently and, and always, we're, we're a diehard for the socks. They're made with thoughtful design features like invisible seams, soft fabrics, and the perfect weight so they hang just right. With the holidays coming up, actually with the holidays being here, Bombas are the coziest gift for everyone on your list. So if you're doing any last Last minute shopping, just you know, take a little browse for those items and you might you know, get something cozy for your loved one and maybe you too. They also have a very great mission. Knowing that socks, underwear, and t-shirts are the three most requested clothing items at homeless shelters in that order, Bombas donates one for every item you buy. I think everyone should get behind that. Go to bombas.com slash wild and get 20% off your first purchase. That's B-O-M-B-A-S dot com slash wild for 20% off. Bombas.com slash wild. What's up, Tillards? Welcome back to Wild no, Till no. Tillards. What's up, Tillies? Tillers. Good morning, Tillies. I kind of like the Tillers. No, we're, fine. We're going to leave her in 2021. <sighs> okay, so welcome to the last and final podcast of 2021. The absolute <laughs> best one Please don't be yet. mad at us. Please don't be mad at us. I saw someone being like, hey, so for the holidays, you guys gonna make like double the content? And I was like, bitch, I am dying in vlogmas. Oh my God. Also, if you are listening to the audio only version, at some point, I need you, I need you to go over to the video version because Bubbies is here looking can't really very see adorable. You can see his ears? Yeah, kind of. Uh, I'm sure he'll sit up at some point. It looks pretty cute though. It looks pretty cute. Yeah. Um, And also we look pretty cute. We've got our matching holiday sweaters on. We are adorable. We are fucking adorable. We're adorable. Jeremy is a really good sport and lets me pose him for a Christmas photo, a family Christmas photo every single year. The annual family Christmas photo. Which we will do for the rest of our lives because yep. it's adorable. It, it is adorable. It's adorable. It, it is adorable. And so anyways, we're gonna do like a really cheesy one this year, like as if we'd gone to, as if we'd gone to like a photo studio. Right. And like, you know, when we are kind of like tiered, so like you'll stand behind me with your hand on my shoulder and then I'll have bubbies in my lap kind of thing. Yeah. And then I ordered this like photo backdrop that's like a really cheesy, like wooden barn door with like a Christmas tree and some wreath, Ugh. wreaths, wreaths? Wreaths. Wreaths on them. Wreaths. It's going to be wonderful. I'm uh -huh. so excited. Look at Bubby's just cleaning it. Yeah, Bubby's just eating, eating the pods. Middle of the pod. Eating the pods. Couldn't care less. Whatever, um, you know, call me crazy. I'm excited to have it just like the, the two of us for the last one, like episode. Me too. That's yeah. I feel like how it should be for the last episode to um, to say goodbye to 2021, but also ring in the 2022. Yeah, to to cap everything off at a high note. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think so too. In our fucking adorable sweaters and our bubbies. Bubbies never wants to hang out in during our the podcast. Sweaters. No, he doesn't. He's he like, literally never I wants mean, to he'll, be in here. He'll be over in 10 minutes. You think? Yeah. He's, he's been a clingy boy today. So he, clingy. Um, he might stay. Yeah, he, he fell asleep directly on my bladder this morning. <laughs> you, should, you were so lucky to have that honor that he has bestowed upon you. It is the highest honor within the household. So you should actually be thanking bubbies Yes. Well, you know, when you're gone for even just a day, mm -hmm. Bubbies gets quite attached. 
He's a needy boy. He's a needy boy. He's kind of like a Velcro dog a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he, he definitely latches. He on. definitely latches. I know, it makes me so happy. I'm so it's excited. way better than him being like, oh, you're here? Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. That just makes me sad. So, okay, when this comes out, how many days until Christmas? Let's see. Babe, what'd you get me for Christmas? Well, you decided yesterday that we were gonna do gifts again, so <laughs> Oh, nothing. it's gonna come out on the 21st. Oh my God, that's so close to Christmas. Happy 21st all. Wow. Um. Yeah, so we were planning on potentially just doing uh, gifting ourselves a together trip. Yep. But our track record of doing that is not super great. So two Christmases ago, I surprised Jeremy with a trip to Tokyo to go see the cherry blossoms in spring, um, which coincidentally lined up exactly when COVID started. Yep. So we had to cancel that trip. And then last Christmas, Jeremy gifted me with a trip to Cabo to go to the Nobu mm -hmm. in Cabo. Yep. Um, because they had an incredible deal on, because I'm sure the last year was pretty rough for their tourism season. Um, and so we thought there was gonna be a chance that we could potentially go. No, there's, there still is, by the way. You just decided to switch it up after you'd already picked a present out for me and let you know that you would prefer to do presents. Oh yeah, but I'm talking about last year. Ah. I'm saying, so we're 0 for 2 on gifting trips. And right. so I think it's just cursed. I think it's cursed. And also too, you're so busy with work. We were like, oh, we'll go somewhere in February. I, I would put money on the fact that we will not go somewhere in February. Well, we're doing gifts, so. We're doing gifts, I'm so excited. I'm glad. You made me a pretty present. I'm gonna get you a pretty present. What'd you get me? Um, I got you something really good, I like it. I'm happy with it. Got it. Happy with my gift. I will say that I just talked to Zach and Kelsey today, our other friends who are both in relationships and neither of them have gotten presents for their significant others yet either. Yeah, I'm not concerned with like finding a gift. Mm -hmm. I'm just, you you switched it up on me at the last second. I did. That's fine. Yep. So I'll, I'll you know, that's fine. It's gonna be fine. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be fine. It's gonna be I don't, great. I don't like, I, getting gifts for you doesn't like really stress me out. Oh, good. Yeah. I love that. I think actually you're probably more stressed about getting me a gift than I'm getting you a gift. I don't think so. I love gift giving. Okay. I love getting gifts for someone. Um, and I'm just like excited. I'm more of like a, I love watching someone's, I love getting a gift that's like personal. Mm. So like last year, I felt really good about the gift that I got you, like the custom um, art piece that I got made. There's a bubbies on it. There's a bubby zone. There's some Kentucky stuff on it. That thing is worth, it's priceless to me and very odd and crazy and not really worth much to anybody else. And I like it that way. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. We're also doing a um, white elephant this weekend. Um, yeah. So I think it's a $50 limit for white elephant. There's eight of us. And I bought, whoa, oh, we can talk about it because this will come out after the white elephant. Okay, go. So we need one more gift idea. I would, and by the way, is white elephant an international thing? People, uh, can you like let us know? Is that a thing that like it's like yeah. a because uh, with saying white elephant, <laughs> I just, yeah, I just realized could yeah. also just be like a like a culty thing somewhere in like the Netherlands. Mm. We don't know. So mm. like, tell these comment below. White elephant, international thing, not international thing. So walk us through what's a white elephant, just in case it's not international. White elephant. Mm -hmm. uh, well, everyone just kind of buys a gift of a certain denomination or like yes. limit, right? And so like, call it fifty bucks. And you all throw them out in the middle and um, you kind of exchange and then you kind of like swap back and forth and you get what you want. Yeah, hopefully. and you steal. It's like a gift stealing game. What a fun game for Christmas. So, <laughs> a very Grinch of us. Right. So the first gift I got was, oh my God, I was able to find one of those like massage guns mm -hmm. for $50. It's really cute. And uh -huh. it's like kind of small. It's like medium size. Medium size, okay. Medium size. And then we need another one that's $50. Hmm. I don't know. What about a Wild Tonight hoodie? Those are priceless. Okay. So well, it actually true. exceeds the this $50 is true. limit. That's true. Um, and also I think all of our friends have a Wild Till 9 hoodie. Well, you could always use two. You could always use two. Always Three, use two. maybe four. I'm not sure. I don't thoroughly enjoy the whole white elephant thing, but yeah. I, it's you great. don't? No, nah, not really. Okay, so here's the thing though, is that we were considering doing Secret Santa, but if like, if we would just end up texting the significant other of the person that we got to be like, hey, what does this person want? You know what right. I mean? Like that's not fun. Let's, okay. Where this is like a little, like gotta up the ante a little bit. Anyway, point is we're doing that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I think gift giving is, is, I'm becoming increasingly more difficult to buy for. Definitely. And it actually is, uh, it doesn't stress me out. I'm just annoyed that like my mother who's like, what should I get you? And I'm like, I don't know. Yeah, she was, she's texting me probably four times asking what to get you. Yeah. She asked if you wanted um, a briefcase. I have a briefcase. I said, I said, he's got a briefcase. Yeah. He's got a briefcase. I, I'm um, a brat and when I want something, I buy it. And mm -hmm. I don't think mm -hmm. about anybody else besides me, 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 me. 
And I know that, like I'm aware of that. You're honest. I'm a consumer. Yes. The internet is at my fingertips. Yes. I have no problem buying something. And then if I don't like it, probably just send it in the back. Yes. And uh, like, that's just our lifestyle. And that's, it's bratty. And mm-hmm. now I go, you know, you know what they want. But like, mm-hmm. I don't, there's nothing, nothing comes to mind. Yeah. Anyway, hope you love my present. I hope, I hope it's a Tesla Model S. It's, oh my God. Oh my God. Do you want to tell the Tillys what happened to the Tesla Model S? I'm going to get a used Corolla. <laughs> I thought it was a know. Camry. I, well, we'll see what they have. What about a punch buggy? What? A punch buggy. What? A punch buggy. Huh? <laughs> the, the Volkswagen. Um, the, the Beetle? The Beetle, the yeah. The bug? What are the bugs? Those are discontinued. They did? Yeah. What? I'm pretty sure those are gone, They yeah. discontinued the yeah. punch buggy? Yeah. What? Also, they don't call them, like, we don't call it punch buggies. Like, I'm trying to think you of the word. You didn't play punch buggy, no punch back? It is, but it's not that word. Hmm. Yeah. Punch back, no punch back. Can't think of it, but yeah, it's, uh, I know what you're saying. Yeah. 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 No, there's a gone. Hmm. Yeah. Just realize how weird punch buggy, no punch back sounds. Yeah. Like now that you've got me on like the, the the path of being like, oh, it's white elephant, not international. Punch buggy, no punch back sounds ridiculous. <laughs> to be fair, Volkswagen's not English or Canadian. That's true. Is it? It's a German. Uh, German. <laughs> Damn it. Whatever that is. Whatever that accent was. Yeah. So um, I'm trying to figure out what to tell people to get me for things. And mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I feel like we didn't, we just, we just glazed over this, but we are taking two weeks off the podcast. So it's not gonna be anything crazy. Just two weeks because one of those weeks will be in Canada with my family for Christmas. Um, without recording equipment. And also I am drowning in Vlogmas. And so I would like one less thing off my plate uh, before we go home for Christmas. I'd like to have great stories top of January to kick it all off with. We're gonna have great stories. Great stories. Great stories. So we're just gonna like, you know, two weeks. Two weeks. It's a, it's a little bit of like, I would wanna miss you guys. And you 100%. Want, we want you to miss us. And you're gonna miss us. And if you have to go and, you know, rewatch, listen to some episodes, just listen to them out. Great, do that. Or if you feel like watching a little bit of Craftopia, no, HBO Max or Crave Canada. You know what's really stressful about Craftopia is that um, like because they're holiday episodes, like once January rolls around, like are people gonna want, oh my God, Bubby's just so cute right now. He did just horse kick me, but the moment right before that was really cute. He's got like the, the like when he like wants to like get into a position, it just flutters. Yeah, he flutters kick. and like, yeah, and then kicks. What, what do they, kick. like, can you imagine like humans did that? They're just like- Yeah, I mean, I kind of do that <laughs> in my sleep sometimes. Just, just- A flail a limb. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, maybe by the time that everyone's back, we'll have the sign actually taken down and uh, we'll have the studio finished. Maybe. I feel like this is this is asking maybe. way too much of us. Maybe. <laughs> we all know how busy life can get. And with the holidays coming up, Lauren and I will be traveling a lot. And on top of that, work has been with just absolutely insane. When all this adds up, it can be very difficult to stick to a healthy way of eating. And that's why I have been loving HelloFresh. HelloFresh offers convenient contact-free delivery right to your doorstep for easy home cooking with the family. The recipes are easy to follow and quick to make with steps and pictures to guide you along the way. Moose loves the pictures. I'm a visual learner yeah. and I too love the pictures. Moose likes to look at the pictures so he knows what he's about to eat. It's great. <laughs> but seriously, HelloFresh helps to cut out the stress of going to the grocery store, especially amidst all of the holiday chaos and makes cooking at home easy. Not only are the recipes delicious, but they also have something for everyone to make sure that your dietary needs are met. Eating healthier has never been easier with the low-cal, carb-smart, vegetarian, and pescatarian options every week. And no matter what you choose, every single recipe is packed with fresh produce sourced directly from farmers. We tried their balsamic and fig beef tenderloin and it was bomb. Like I didn't ever think that I could make a tenderloin. Right, and I definitely thought that I could have probably eaten all of Lauren's, but she did actually want a little bit of it, which was, which was frustrating. Inconvenient for you, yeah, yeah I totally get it. They're Holiday meals feel special without the high cost of dining out or delivery. And when you're feeling up for cozy comfort food, they have the chicken, sausage, and sweet potato soup for a cold winter night. Go to hellofresh.com slash wild914 and use code wild914 for up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. Getting the vitamins I need to remain healthy is super important to me. Ritual makes it easy to get everything in one of their essential for women 18 plus multivitamin. Over 97% of women aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D from their diet and 95% are not getting their recommended daily intake of key omega-3s. Knowing that I might not be getting everything I need out of my diet is concerning, but that's where Ritual's multivitamin steps in. The essential for women, 18 plus multivitamin 
vitamin is formulated with nutrients to help support brain health, bone health, blood health, and provide antioxidant support. Ritual also invested in a gold standard university-led clinical trial to prove the impact of the multivitamin, and it was shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43% and omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in just 12 weeks. I have been diligently taking my multivitamin, which is tough for me. Yeah, it's, it oh, takes- Only took about a, you know three months of passive aggressive um, reminders. And, yes, and you then send yes, that alarm on your phone. Yes, and all then, yeah. of that mm -hmm. for about three months now. And I can already tell a difference just in how I feel with my body. Plus it's the first vitamin that I have taken on a regular basis that hasn't upset my stomach, which is huge because you guys know that I am sensi. Sensi, the sensi. Right now, Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off for the very first three months. Visit ritual.com slash WT nine and turn healthy habits into a ritual that's 10 percent off at ritual.com slash wt9 um but yeah so i don't think people are going to watch craftopia in january and february unless i'm going to watch feeling... craftopia every year thank all you all month every i time. would just actually if everyone can just uh stream craftopia on loop when they're not watching tv so i can hopefully get a third season that'd be great that'd be really nice or just watch it but then share also, also share with a friend, send to your grandparents, post it on Facebook, share mm -hmm. with those aunts and uncles, um, share with the people that you went to high school with that don't necessarily even talk to anymore. Uh, well, and tell mm -hmm. them to put it on repeat in the background when they're not watching TV. Yeah, it's like a uh, like a, a cult you're trying to start. That's nice. Yes, Craftopia cults. Well, okay. So what are we doing on Christmas Day? Uh, we're going to be doing Lakers things. Is this like an afternoon thing or an evening thing? I have no idea. Yeah, like are we gonna have regular Christmas morning? I have no idea. Huh. Now that I'm in the like the driver's seat for planning, yeah. you know, it'll happen when it happens. I hate that. But okay, but usually it works out just fine. Yes. So? Yes. <laughs> So <laughs> how am I going to plan my outfit? Cause I was kind of spiraling. So I was like, do I wear Lakers gear to this why game? This, why don't you just be ready to look cute no matter what? And you'll be good to go. Right. But I'm like, do I wear Christmas gear or do I wear Lakers gear? Or do we get crazy and wear both? You know, I think if you can find a way to implement all of the- Things together? Yeah. That's probably hmm. ideal. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I know it's very stressful in your head. It's very one more, stressful. One more thing is the last thing you need. Well, I can't decide if I want to vlog, do my last day of Vlogmas on Christmas day mm. and then post it on the 26th because that technically would be 25 days of Vlogmas. But a lot of people just post their last one on Christmas day. But since we're having a weird Christmas day. Game time decision. I'm kind of conflicted. I think you bring it with and see how it goes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's a good idea. Well, I also have to figure out this, this celebrity list thing because there's kind of an overwhelming outside amount. Of, outside of you and I as the celebrities and Moose. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, just just the other ones. I feel like that needed more context. So before you go ahead and name drop, do you want to give a little more context? I won't to be that? name dropping. I'm just saying, like when you when you like when you do these things and there's there's stadium title naming rights things. Usually, like celebrities are involved, and right. I gotta like figure out how much of a you know list that how much of a list I really want to take on versus like eh, we'll. We'll save that for next year. Like, are we playing hostess with the mostess on Christmas? I don't Day? want to. I was gonna say I hate that. Yeah. But like, you still have to do a little bit of it. Right. I mean, I think that's like the whole point. Obviously we're staying until the 25th because of business things. And Christmas, I feel like doesn't actually start until the 27th. Right. Except for when I get my present on the 25th. Right. And it's gonna be wonderful. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna get you another moose. What? No, there's only one moose. Okay. I'm gonna get you a, a sniffy. We, we have, we've never divin in, a noodle. Divin, divin into Sniffy. A noodle. We've never dove into the Sniffy and the noodle situation. I mean, now, now's a good time. Now's a good time. We, um the same way that I think um parents think about potential uh, names for their kids, we have our next dog names planned mm -hmm. for if we ever got another dog in the future. So we've got Sniffy. Mm -hmm. And I think that was inspired by a dog at Moose's Doggy Daycare named Sniffy. And I was like, oh my God, that's so fucking cute. And then we also have Noodle, which I feel like is a great like derpy dog name because I think that there's, being realistic, I'll never own a Regal looking dog. Yes, we will. I, I Our just next don't dog, think, Regal. I just don't think it's in the cards. Like even if we were to get like a Doberman or something, I think he would Regal. still be derpy. Regal. I just don't think it's in the cards Regal. to own a dog that's not a little derpy. Listen, look, we'll, time will tell. Okay, time will time tell. Time will tell. And their name will be Noodle or Sniffy. I, you know, as long as it breeds the right, breed that I want, fine. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. But there, there's no other puppos in the near future for a very, very long time. As you look at this one, propping himself up with his face. Look at him, his nose is literally propping. His head his is heavy. No, I know. It's just- It's a big heavy head with lots of big brain in there and <laughs> it's heavy to hold up. It's crazy how small his like cranium is versus the rest of his body. And you think to himself, yeah, that explains a lot. 
I would say his cranium is very large actually. Well, it's, it's big, but like, I feel like brain space. Mm. Eh. Big brain, lots of folds. <laughs> Big brain, smooth lots brain. of folds. Uh, very smooth brain, <laughs> like a marble. Oh God. Um. So I was just away in Big Bear for the past four days. Um. We got back a few days ago, and um. I I expected you to have like the most social four days of your life. I feel like that I mean, was I the plan. Did. I kind of a little bit did. Okay. Yeah, but like I just stayed up a little bit and like got some work done and shit. But like I went out once. Okay. Yeah, it's good. That's exciting. Yeah, it was good. It was very like LA. I mean, it was one of those things where when you go, um, it was at this place called Dog Pound, which is like a big uh, workout, mm -hmm. but like very trendy place to like, work out. Some of the only people I know that work out there are like models, celebrities, and Olympians. Yes. 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 But I was there and it, if you are famous and have a TikTok, I think it, it was a prerequisite to be to there. To be at the party. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I won't name names, because I don't have to. If you're famous on TikTok, you were there. You were there. Like so famous that even I was like, okay, I know who all these people are. Right. Everybody. Right. Yeah. But like, you know, it was like uh, everything I needed to like put all of the social. You know what? I, why I didn't go out again is because that was like the first or second night. I think you were gone. Uh -huh. And it was the blaringly loud music. The mm -hmm. people who like, oh, that line can't possibly be for me because I'm here. And it's like, no, 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 actually, there's, there's one line. So right. You, you just stay in line. Yeah. But we know, don't care. Um, let's see, people were screaming uh, really loud, but mm -hmm. like the actual like event itself was done quite well. I just don't um, miss screaming to be heard and having someone scream in my ears so that I can hear them. It's like, whenever that I go back into that atmosphere, I'm like, why do we do this? Like Unsure. literally, why do we do this? Like we hold a drink and then you scream at someone and they scream back at you and you're not actually having a quality conversation. No. And I mean, I guess if you're single, maybe like that's more exciting. A lot of pretty people. Yeah, a lot of, a pretty, lot people, of pretty people, I'm, sure, I'm yeah. sure. I was just having this conversation with someone where they were saying that when they go to San Diego, oh, it was Remy. She was saying that when she goes to San Diego, she feels like a thumb because people in San Diego are like, really pretty, like real pretty. Whereas like LA people here are fake pretty because ah. it's all injections and like extensions and all those things, which I am gu guilty of all of those things. So I am fake pretty. Okay. <laughs> and she was saying that like, when she goes to San Diego, she feels like everyone there is like real pretty, like natural pretty. And she's like, I've never felt like more of a thumb than when I'm in San Diego. Okay. I feel like the, when I came out to LA for the first time, I was like, oh, is everyone attractive? Okay. Yes, the answer is yes. Especially if you go somewhere like West Hollywood and Beverly Hills, you're like, oh, this is a different breed of people. Different. Like everyone always jokes that like, okay, you're you're um, uh, an eight in, insert random Midwest state here. Wait, no, yeah, you're an eight in a Midwest random state here and Six you're here. an LA five. LA five. An LA yeah, five, it's yeah, tough. it's tough. Yeah. Competition stuff. Not, not at all um, looks based here. Yeah. Whatever. And then of course I, I have to tell the story about my- Yes. How do, Your, I even, how do I even begin with this? Um, One of the most reckless and careless financial decisions you've ever made. No, no, that, <laughs> no, that's, no that's just not true. Um, Wait, I'm sorry, I'm setting you up for a story that was too intense, I think. Well, um, okay. So at these events mm -hmm. in this place, whatever, loud music, a lot of people screaming, you know, whatever, trying to eat at the same like bar to get drinks. And like, it's open bar, of course. So like, you could just walk up and take the drinks and walk away and no one would be mad at you. But you know, it it's like common courtesy, the courtesy to tip yeah. a little bit, right? Yeah. And so I was in line for my first drink, took forever, fine, got it, left, whatever, all is good. And then we decided to drink one more drink before we left. And like, mind you, I had not slept a ton the night before. Zero, I you slept been, zero. I didn't sleep the night before. <laughs> and cause I was like up working on this fucking huge, well, about 17 different deals, but like two in particular. And I was fucking exhausted. And I was like, okay, I'll have one more drink and then I'll get out of here. And so it took forever to get up to this drink. Like mm -hmm. you were just waiting in a standstill line, standing, standing still, standing still. And I finally got up to the spot and it was like this, oh, thank God. And I was like, just, uh, two, yeah, two beers, thank you. And I, you make eye contact with the person, okay, for sure. And I, I reached into my wallet and I grabbed just, two single dollar bills. Mm -hmm. And I was going to hand them to her as mm -hmm. a tip and I was going to take the beers. And I got to the front of the line and I I, I, I got the beers, mm -hmm. I handed her the tip. Mm -hmm. And as I was about to walk away, I could. she looked at me, the, the, the bartender, she looked at me with this look of like, are you sure? At this point in the story, when you were telling me this, I, I would have put money 
on the fact that on the possibility that you had potentially slept with this woman, but didn't recognize her and you recognized you and you didn't recognize her, but she recognized you. That's where I thought the story fair, was going. The, 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 like, the looks that she was giving me was like, yeah. we had a deeper connection from her end right. than I had to her. That's what I'm saying. That's where I thought but the story was going. But I was like was so going. tired, I wasn't even thinking about it. Yeah. But she like looked at me with this look of like, just such serious, not concern, but like- Like, oh my God. Oh my God. And I was like, didn't even think anything of it. And I walked back to hand my buddy the beer that mm -hmm. I got for him. And I go to put the rest of my cash in and I look and I'm holding two single dollar, single dollar bills. But I know that I just tipped her. <laughs> and then I realized to myself that I had taken the, the $280 in my left hand and the two single dollar bills in my right hand. And I handed her all of my money besides $2. <laughs> and I kept the $2 for myself and walked back to my buddy with two beers, making that the most expensive free beer I have ever and will probably ever buy yep. in my entire life. Yep. But the problem was I looked around and I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna go get this money back. Like, not even a big deal. But it was like kind of loud and I looked and I could, like she had just put it into like the communal <gasps> cup, whatever, yeah. with this look of just happiness and excitement. Yep. And I realized at that moment, that's her money. That's her money. That's that's not my money that's anymore. That's not your money. That's her money. What am I gonna walk up and say, excuse me, ma'am, um, I I gave you a tip a second ago. I, it's actually this. I want to give you this two dollars instead. Like I was like thinking to myself, how how am I gonna run through all this? It's not an option. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's, yeah, we're yeah, just yeah. gonna write that to the game. Yeah. yeah. So two hundred. It's a hundred forty dollar tip per free beer. Okay. Um. Were they the most delicious beers you've ever had in your entire life? Arguably no. <laughs> <laughs> but did they taste like rich? Once again, no, I tasted poor at that moment. I said, mm. this feels, mm -hmm, um, cause mm -hmm. there's no world where I'm writing that off. Mm -hmm. Oh, what? Oh, you just spent $200 on beers that we can't see. Okay, yeah, got it. Yeah, good, yeah, That's sweet. just me. Yeah. So that was by far the most like, ah, we'll just chalk that up as a Christmas memory. Yeah. Let that go. That's super fun for you. Yeah. That's also, it's impressive that you had that much cash on you. It was from like a New York trip. Oh, I see. Or whenever yeah, I, was, like, I literally traveling. never carry more than like, maybe $25 of cash on me, if that, if I'm I had lucky. two hundreds and then four twenties. Well, no, you had $2. I have, I have you to, have it's $2. crumpled up on the, like, the downstairs yeah. right now. That's, oh, by I the saw way, that on the that's, table. Oh, that's, that's, that's the $2. Cash. That's my two cash, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 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 that's so true. I actually almost tipped someone on DoorDash the other day, uh, like $150. I didn't realize that you don't put decimals at all. And um, so I went to go tip uh, $15. And so I went to go like one five, Zero, zero. Oh no. Oh my God. Oh, my. so actually it would have been $1,500. $1, yeah, not even 150. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry fucking Christmas. And um, anyway, so I quickly realized and backspaced very quickly. And it, it was literally on like maybe like a, a $40 meal. You know? And it would have been, it would have been a, a very large accidental tip. <sighs> yeah. You know, I, it was one of those, like I literally did it in the moment I got done with it. I go, well, there's a story for the podcast. Yeah, there's a, a an expense, a write off for the podcast. Not, that's not how that works. Yeah, I mean, no. also with cash, too, you can't really write. You that can't off. really write anything yeah, off. Yeah, that's no. that's gone. You know what? Christmas tip. I hope that that person needed it. Yeah, Christmas karma. Yeah. There you go. Put a little good Christmas, Christmas karma, karma out into the world. That's adorable. Yeah, that's you and your Christmas sweater saying Christmas karma. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> they're great sweaters. You got to yeah. like they're they're great sweaters. The holidays can be fun, but we all know that they can also be tough on some people. We want you to be living your absolute best life, Tillys. And if something is holding you back from doing that, then our next sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help. BetterHelp is a safe and private environment online that connects you with the help you need. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Everything you share is confidential and you can send a message to your counselor anytime. They also give you the option to set up scheduled video or phone sessions weekly if you wanna to stick to a routine. I know in the craziness of all holiday things, it can be hard to find time to jump on the phone with someone. And so I am a big fan of just sending a message whenever you need help. We've talked at nauseum about how frustrating it is to get help. And sometimes it's just too expensive for some people. And BetterHelp is changing that by offering affordable prices and they make financial aid available. BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, making it easy and free to change counselors if needed. We want you to start living a happier life today. As a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash WT9. 
tis the season to get cozy, y'all. And coming from the cozy queen herself, there is no better way to do that than snuggling up with a blanket, moose, sometimes a Jeremy, and a podcast from Audible. I thought I was the cozy queen. You can be the cozy queen today. Yeah. You can be the cozy queen. Yeah, okay. With Audible, you can listen to exclusive stories, original podcasts, and more. Discover your holiday love story with Audible because who doesn't love a good love story? Enjoy brand new Audible originals like Hold Me Closer, Tony Danzig, and There's Something About Mary and Christmas Podcast. That's, podcast. That's, that's, that's pop, P-A-W-D cast. You, you guys get it. Anyway, light up your fireplace and keep it burning with romance favorites like Eight Winter Nights and Nick and Noel's Christmas Playlist. These will really throw you into the holiday feels and spirit. Trust me. Audible is all I've been listening to, especially in the car or getting ready. Go to audible.com slash holiday romance. Listen now only from Audible. Okay, so you know what always gets me is those seven day free trials for just about anything. I notoriously forget to cancel and end up having subscriptions to apps or services that I do not use. And well, when big companies keep charging you, Truebill is your secret weapon to save you money on subscriptions you don't need. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about because companies make subscriptions hard to cancel. Truebill makes it incredibly simple. Just link all your accounts and Truebill will cancel your unwanted subscriptions in one tap. And your Truebill concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't even have to. I needed Truebill like multiple years ago. Yes, you did. (laughs) Yes, you did. I'm so bad for this. I don't know, you, you, you're possibly the worst. Like the amount of subscriptions that I have completely forgotten that She's I was spending about. She's one Instagram ad and just subscription, subscription, oh subscription. Oh my God, it's it's honestly too embarrassing to reveal. On average, people save up to $720 a year I'm, with I'm Truebill. surprised it's not more. I know, I'm seriously, surprised it's, it's not definitely more. more for me. Truebill has over 2 million users and helped them save over $100 million. Just listen to this personal testimonial from Matthew B. Who what's up, Matthew? What's up, Matthew? In a matter of seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my direct TV bill, Oof. saved 120 for the year on my Sirius XM bill and mm. saved $840 a year on car insurance. Whoa. If that doesn't make you run and download Truebill, especially after Matthew has also downloaded Truebill, mm-hmm. I don't know what will. True that, Lauren. Don't fall for subscription scams. Don't do it. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash wild. Go right now. No, no, like right now we're waiting. Truebill.com slash wild. It could save you thousands. That is truebill.com slash wild. Okay, so did you want to give an update on your um uh, your vlogmas lifestyle? Uh, I'm kind of dying. I, I mean, you know what? Every day, it's a day-to-day journey. It's a day-to-day okay. adventure for sure. Some days I'm dying. Yesterday I was dying. Yesterday I was like just sad in my soul and I did not want to pick up the camera, but I was already like half finished the vlog. And so it felt like a waste of my time and probably my editor's time to not finish the vlog because they're like expecting work on each of their scheduled days as well. Right. I've got three editors right now working on my vlogmas um, because obviously like editing seven days a week for 25 days, that's probably someone's hell. And um, although the pay would probably be great, it's just, that's that's like, that's too much. Oh my God, puppies is so cute right now. I can't even deal with it. It looks like it's like a little seal trying to get comfortable. It looks like a little seal, I know, yeah. I know. Oh, puppies. Um, so yeah, it's, it's day to day. It is just not mentally healthy to make a video every single day. Like, no. and it, it's so crazy to think that like vlogging every day, daily vlogging was so popular a couple of years ago. And it was like the norm for so many people. Like when Casey Neistat was vlogging every single day, like three or four years ago or whatever, he was making literal mini movies every single day. Ridiculous. But also like, it's weird to do that when you're like mostly at home still. Yeah. You're like trying to like create yes. a, a, a drama line of things that like, not every day is exciting. Some I days mean, are just like go with the flow. And the, the great thing about Vlogmas is that people just want to see you do normal shit, but even like normal shit, it's, it's like sometimes hard to talk about normal shit because like if your normal shit is not doing anything, like people are like, oh, like it's okay. We just want to see you like chill at home. And I'm like, okay, but like, I am chilling at home, but what do you want me to talk about? And so like yesterday I started spiraling. So I was doing a gingerbread house by myself and I was kind of lonely. And I was like, this would be so much more fun if someone else was here. And then the lighting was bad and I started spiraling. So I was like, I don't know, this is not a good video. Um, but tomorrow and Wednesday, I think I have plans. So that'll be exciting. It just like, you just need like one thing a day to give you like an anchor of content. Right. And then the rest of it is easy. You need like a small little anchor. You need an anchor. 
I need an anchor for Vlogmas to survive. So I am officially at the halfway point as we're recording this right now. So uh, haven't missed a day yet. Gotta ask, I think you're doing better right now than you were in the beginning. Oh my God, yeah, days one and three were spirally, yeah. super spirally. I was unwell. I had major editor issues on day one and three, and it was not not the it was not the smoothest kickoff to daily vlogging. Do you think you'll do daily vlogging forever? Like how? When, when what do you mean have, daily vlogging forever? I mean like daily vlogmas forever. Oh, um, no, probably not. Like, I mean, I guess it'll just like depend on like what next year's December looks like. Right. Because even last year, when oh we didn't go home last year. Uh, so sad. We're going home this year. We're going home this year, thank God. Um, but even the year before that, I remember, I think I did like weekly vlogmas. I can't even remember. But like, as soon as you go home, like you don't want to vlog. No. And so it's only like a realistic um, possibility because we're not going home right away. Right, you're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You could do vlogmas every day starting in January too. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I, I, January is like one of those months where on YouTube videos do real shitty. Ah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know necessarily. So why don't we just take all of January is. off then? I know we should have taken all of January off. No, we can't do the Tillies. No, we would never we, do that to the Tillies. We, we owe it to the Tillards. We owe it to the Tillards. Except if Jeremy does a really big deal, we've already established that he would be gone very quickly. But like you could just supplement for a long time and see how long it takes people to realize like I'm never coming back. That it's just me talking yeah. for a whole hour. <laughs> we should do solo episodes one day. I would not like that. It'd be like just an hour long vlog. Yeah, I don't, the idea of bantering with myself feels psychopathic, so. We are welcome to fucking daily vlogging. <laughs> right. It feels psychopathic. Yeah, it I just really need does. someone to like bounce things off of. Hmm. I don't need you to give me much, but I need you to give me something. So like, could you do it with just you and Bubbies? I would, I would prefer it with Bubbies. Then me or with no the, one? With no one. Oh, I see. You choose Bubbies. I would choose you, then Bubbies, uh -huh. then alone. Got it. Or make very clear of that that like yeah. that priority stack uh -huh. there. I feel. Yeah. I feel. I feel. Uh -huh. Did you want to talk about how we got invited to? Oh my god, you guys! I'm shitting. Okay. Um, well. So well, no, I'm a plus one, but Jeremy got invited to the motherfucking Grammys. <laughs> the motherfucking. The motherfucking. Who is it? Nicki Minaj. Nicki, yeah. <laughs> I keep bringing Every Nicki Minaj. Time. <laughs> the motherfucking Grammys. <laughs> So we're going to the Grammys. Um, this is my first time going to the Grammys. And um, TBD, if like, we'll actually get to like walk the carpet or anything. I'm not walking the carpet. I would love just to get like a couple Getty photos. Like I would love, cause like, if you're gonna get all dressed up, like I'd love to get a professional photo. Okay. <laughs> so. Every time I invite you to anything, things get more complicated. Do you know that? Yes. Like if I just went by myself. Yes. Super easy. Yes. I invite you. Are we gonna be able to do the carpet? I just wanna get a good picture. I have to go to the bathroom. Is there a seat in the middle? I have to get up and go to pee. And then just, oh my God. All, God. all very, all very um, fair questions and concerns. Yes. Going pee when you have to sit in the middle row is very stressful. Yes. 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 But I, I just wanna, if we're gonna, if I'm gonna do the whole thing, we're gonna do the Grammys. I want a picture at the Grammys. We can get a picture without going to the red carpet. Of who? who's gonna take it? I, I don't know. Any number of the people that will know there. Oh, Bubby's, what? what's going on over here? Very alert. I'm like, sure. when Moose does that, I'm like, okay, there's a hundred percent of ghost in here. <laughs> <laughs> so Grammys, I've already booked my stylist. I've booked my makeup artist. You have more plans for the Grammys than I do. I'm working on my hair girl. Got it. It's gonna be great. I'm so excited. I like, what? what's the, what's the guy dress code? Cause I feel like it's kind of all over the place. I feel like girls, like you can go hard. Like you can go as hard as you want and it's not weird. I mean, guys the same thing, but just like whatever the fuck you want. So what are you gonna wear? I don't know. <laughs> it's like a month away. I've been to the Grammys twice already. Okay, flex, casual flex. Or three times. I've been, I don't need to go to the Grammys again. Casual flex. Oh my, point is like, I don't know. We'll go, I'll look nice. I'll, okay. whatever you want to dress, mm -hmm. I will make sure it matches that. <laughs> That's so fun, I'm so excited. I'm honestly just so excited for the performances too. Like it's a, it's a mini concert of like all the best people ever. I will say the Grammys are not intended for the people that are there. The Grammys are intended for the people that are home on right. watching the broadcast. Right. But since this is the crypto.com arena uh -huh. and you own the crypto.com arena. I do not. Does that mean that we'll probably get good seats though? I think we'll get good seats. That's really exciting. I'm hoping, so I went online to go see if the performers are um, announced yet. They're not, I'm very <laughs> They're sad. They're not. But um, well, Trevor Noah is hosting. I'm a fan of Trevor Noah. I think it'll be great. I think it'll be great. Performers, who do you want to see? <gasps> I haven't thought about it. Olivia Rodrigo. Okay. I, I think that she will though, right? Cause she's nominated for like I'm a eight fan. Grammys. I'm just like, okay, great. 
Yeah, I know. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. I'm so excited. But like whether I think about it or not, it's gonna be the same thing. Let's see. So like who else had a big year this year for music? No, I want to make it to the Clive Davis party. That's what I want to do. Okay. That's the thing I want to go to. Is that like the famous, famous one? Yes. Okay. So we're not going to know anyone there. I think we'll actually know everyone there. They just won't know us. Right, exactly. Oh, it's, yes. it's, it's, that's yes, the problem. It's the exact opposite. Everyone actually yes. is very much recognizable. Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Oh my God, that is such a fish out of water experience for me. I would die. Can't wait. It'd be so awkward. Okay, I'll bring somebody else in. So maybe, no, it's okay. I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm available. <laughs> I'm available. I'm available. I'm already booked it off my calendar. Uh-huh, yeah. Um, Olivia Rodrigo, I think she'll be, she'll be there. Um, she'll be there, but also I mean performing. Maybe Billie Eilish, she had a new album. I don't know, Lauren. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. The possibilities are endless. I'm very excited. I'm glad you get to go and go, okay, great. Here's the magic. Yeah, I'm That's a little enough. concerned about like how long of a day it is. It's a long day. Yeah. Long day, but we'll, I think we'll find a way to like snake in and out of there. Great. Like, so should I bring a purse sandwich? You'll always bring a purse sandwich. <laughs> That's, I've only bought a sandwich to one event. <laughs> like it was a genuine full sandwich to one event in my purse. And I did end up eating it. I was fucking starving. Okay. I forget what event it was. Okay. I'm a frequent eater. Do we have plans for New Year's? What are we doing? Um, so we're flying back from my family's house on the first. Oh, on the first? Yeah, we're flying back on the first. Oh, so we'll be in Canada for New Year's Eve? For New Year's Eve, yeah. Got it. I think we're just planning on doing like a chill pizza and games night with my family. Got it. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, it's acceptable, yes. Yeah, is that acceptable? Yeah. Does Canada have any weird New Year's traditions? Um, what do you mean by like weird New Year's tradi- traditions? Are there any traditions for Canadian New Year's that you'd like to talk about? And I will tell you if they're weird or not. Um, I mean, they always have like a concert in Niagara Falls. Okay, that's not really a weird yeah, tradition. Yeah, that's not like a really weird tradition. I would say most people watch the New York Times ball drop. Okay. Um, They do like a mini, just like countdown in Niagara Falls when they like show the performances and stuff. Usually it's cold as shit though. So like the yeah. poor people who are performing on stage in Niagara Falls, like it looks cold as fuck. Book hard every pass. single time. Yeah, hard, hard pass, pass, hard pass. Um, but what, what did we do last year? Did we do anything? We were here. I don't I know. I genuinely can't remember. Can't remember at all. Yeah, I literally can't remember at all. It's super we, memorable. Super memorable, obviously. And then the year before that, we had a party here. Yep, yep. And then- uh, I puked off the side of the house. Oh my day. God, you puked off the side of the house. Oh my God. That was one of the most iconic podcast episodes we had is, is telling that story. Yeah. That was a really enjoyable one, one for the books. It wasn't so enjoyable the night of, but yeah. Highlight, hi- Actually, you felt I, great I, afterwards. I yeah, remember. I was gonna say you remember yeah, it. Yeah, it was fine. yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've told that story so many times to so many different people. It's a, it's a real, uh, it's, a, it's a highlight in your reel. I think sometimes people are, are um, surprised when they hear that I do enjoy having fun <laughs> uh, to that level. Cause you feel like such a stickler? No, just like, I think that like my nine to five life's not necessarily that- um, Riveting? Uh, mm. Fun. Flexible. <laughs> that too, that too, genuinely that too. Yeah. And that's why we're gonna get each other like actual gifts because you don't have flexibility or nine to five to go on vacation. We're gonna have fun, to be great. We're gonna have fun. I can't wait. For Christmas? For all of it. Oh. <laughs> How many Christmases have we been together? 74, uh, six, 19? Three. Remember when you thought we were together for like two years last week? Yeah, literally I was like, how long? I, I, it's just like, the freaking Pandy Wandy has seemed so long. It like really skews your perception of time. But Bubby's is like old now. But Bubby's is not old. Like four. Bubby's is four. That's not Bubby's, old. You're about to be five. You're about to be thirty. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Yeah, what do you want to do for thirty? I don't know. It's not, I don't even talk about it. Oh my god, well, I'm stressed out because I got to plan something extravagant mm. for thirty. Extravagant? Yeah. Okay. You want to go all out? No. The big three zero? Nope. Okay. Not even a little bit. Okay. Well, no. you want to do something low key? Yep. I feel like you hate surprise parties, so I would never try and spring that on. I don't want a surprise party. Yeah, I know. I know you don't want a surprise party. It, it also like it would be. I'm also, Some people enjoy surprises. I'm not one of them. Mm, yeah. I like a good surprise sometimes. I don't need that validation. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes it's just so nice to be like, oh my God, all my friends showed up for a surprise party to like make me excited. That's so nice. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, we're having a party. Why would the fuck when you show up? Yeah, I guess. That's like two ways to look at it. Yours is way healthier, but uh-huh. like, you know, it. Uh, mine leads to disappointment, but it hasn't happened yet. So mm. I'm waiting to be disappointed. Mm. Okay, well maybe we'll just have a regular birthday party for yeah, you. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, that'll it'll, be good. That'll like, be fine. Like a mature, 30 year old, yeah, yeah, birthday party. What are we doing next year that's different than this year? Um, I mean, hoping to spiral less. Okay. I mean, the first the first quarter of 2021 was like not okay for me. Yeah. Remember like I was unwell. Like I think back to that, like that being like nine months ago or whatever. And I was like, holy fuck. Like I was functioning at like 10% of human. Yeah. Like it was 
crazy. Knock on wood, I haven't had a again. panic attack in so long. We're not gonna do that anymore. We're not gonna do that anymore. It's we're done. over that. We're leaving that we've, in 2021. We've, grown, we've outgrown that. I've outgrown that. You feel that. good about an even year? Yeah. Oh, I love an even year. Please, please, please. I want to hear Everything feels better. I, I would love to have people um, manifest whatever the fuck they think is going to happen next year, whether mm. it's irrational or not. Mm. I don't care. Throw it in the comments regardless. That's your that's your manifestation is yeah. leaving in the comments. Yeah, just throw it in there. And then a year later, come back to see your comment and see just how far off you are <laughs> from whatever it is. What's a, what, what have your, what have your past New Year's looked like? Fuzzy. Fuzzy. Mm. Yeah. I, New Year's is always like a good time, but like, it, I feel like, it's cold as shit where we're from. Yep. And then here, everything's just spro- like so spread out. It's just like a house party yeah. or a, a party to get into somewhere. Yep. And it's just difficult as fuck to get in. Yep. And you have to like have reservation and yep. tickets and all that shit. So it's like, yep. yeah. I know in Toronto, I did a few years of New Year's Eve where you have to like pay cover and you're in a bar and it's a, or a club or whatever. And like, it's exciting. Cause I guess you're in a group of people who like count down from time or whatever at New Year's Eve. And like, it's kind of fun in that moment, but. Otherwise, like depending, I guess, on who you're with, it's like not the vibe. I mean, New Year's is such a weird thing because it's like you get excited for the thing that happens in New York, but then you do it again a few hours later for here. Right. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Yeah, I know my parents would always call me or I call them at 9 p.m. our time and midnight their time. And I'm like, right. happy New Year. And then three hours later, we do it again, but for hours. When's the last time you did New Year's with your parents though? Oh man, it'd been, it would have been, I can't even remember the last time I did New Year's with my parents. Um, well, isn't that fun exciting? I've been to Times Square before for New Year's Eve. I have no interest in that. It was, I went with a brand. I went forever ago when I lived in Toronto, I went with CoverGirl and they had like rented out the Hard Rock Cafe in Times Square. So yeah. we had like a nice little section um, that wasn't like crazy close by any means, but like you were allowed to like go inside and use the bathroom, which is really nice. Pretty nice, that's, that's a flex. Yeah, because I've heard yeah. all the time that people literally wear diapers because you can't leave the area and you lose your spot. What? Yeah, that's what I've heard. That people wear literal diapers because you can't leave to like go anywhere. Hard pass. Hard pass. Not that cool. It was also cold as shit. So like it was fun to go out in like the cold to go to the actual, like go watch the right. actual ball drop. But, like, but outside of that, we stayed inside. Yeah. No. Yeah, because it was super cold. That's a tradition that probably, like, probably should happen in Florida. Right. Yeah. 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 You're so right. That seems yeah. like a like a West Coast warmer climate but type also, of thing. But also, well- Florida's not West Coast. Um, no, I know, I have a warmer climate. But also like there's something to, like watching the um, uh, the entire telecast, like everyone's just freezing their asses off. Mm-hmm. That's kind of like part of the appeal. Oh my God, this year Miley Cyrus is hosting New Year's Eve with Pete Davidson. That'll that be is fantastic. so fucking fun. So we know what we're doing. So we know what we're doing, 100%. We're watching that. We're watching that. Do you think Pete ever gets a script where they just say, uh, go? Well, he definitely didn't have one when he hosted the Jake Paul fight. No, he did not. <laughs> No, he did not. And if he did, he went off of it. He, yeah, I don't think he had a script whatsoever. No, he, um, he, some artistic liberties were taken. Right, some improvisation. Yeah. Improv, improv, improvisation. Improv. Improv. Yeah. I saw someone, Um, actually I got a bunch of people who sent me this TikTok of a girl who was talking about how 1D1 should be a thing. What? Remember, 22, 33, 1D1. No, Lauren, yes. no. That's, yes. I will yes. always- Remember the time that I was about to give you way more credit than you deserved. And that's what came out of your mouth. And I said- One T one? Well, you were, I was like, I can't wait to hear what you're gonna ask. I'm gonna give it all the time of day. It's gonna uh-huh. be super. And then it was like- One T one. Wait, one T one. It just doesn't make any sense. Well, you know, I'm excited for- And no first, one has followed up on why it doesn't make sense. I'm gonna move past this. Okay. I'm excited for when our first pod back, we get to talk about how you got in another fight with the gate agent in- No, cra- no, 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 no. Don't even put that energy out there. Don't even put that energy out there because it's not gonna happen this year. We're gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. Everything's gonna be seamless and smooth. Like Bubby's brain. Like, no, not like Bubby's brain. The smart, handsome boy. Uh, he's over here just like- His, his lip got stuck on his tooth Is that for what a second it was? There. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Listen, it could, happen, it could happen to anybody. Sometimes my lip. Get stuck in my, my teeth. Bubby's got like, wow, yawn. Wow, wow, very good, Bubby. Wow, big yawn very for a little puppy. Wow, wow lots like, of yawns. Oh no, lip is stuck on teeth. Lots of lips. My parents, Moose, when we go home to Canada, because also a lot of my family hasn't seen Moose in two years, um, he is about to be smothered. Smothered with love. Smothered with love. Like love people are gonna kisses. be fighting over Bubbies. It's gonna be so cute. Which is a typical thing. Which is a typical thing, totally. But we're not going to see Bubbies. We're not going to see our dog for a week. That's okay. For sure. We'll see when he gets back. <laughs> we'll see when he gets back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh Lauren, sign up for the Tillies. What? 2021, over. Oh my God, I don't want to go. It feels weird. No. It's, it feels sad we have and to weird. Go, we have to go so we can come back. We have to go so we can come back. That, even stronger. That feels nice. With bigger guests and badder productions and even a producer maybe, hopefully, 
what, potentially yeah, fingers possibly. crossed Jesus Christ I know um, and, uh, <laughs> the all 20, year of the 2022 is going to be the year of a producer and profitability and profitability and more great sweaters and maybe even some more sweatpant ween which always sweatpant ween I'm your host Jeremy Lewis <laughs> signing off from Los Angeles good night Latvia <laughs> bye Chilies, we got a sissy's birthday today. Ew, I hated that. Stop, stop it right now. Hey, I mood. hated that. Mm. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God. AdamandEve.com, our sassy sponsor for today, has everything you need for sassy time with your partner, with your partner or with yourself. Seriously, just go browse the products and we are positive, sex positive, if you will, that you will oh, find I, I, something. I, I got it. That was good. You get it? You get it? Yeah. You're picking up what I'm putting mm-hmm. down? Yeah, okay. so much cooking. Yep. That you will find something to spice up your sex life. Like good puns. Like good puns. But better. (laughs) And we have a very, very impressive discount just for our favorite listeners, which also happens to be all of our listeners, of course. But if you just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item, you'll get another one for 50% off. And Lauren, do you see the last piece? No, no, wait, you get 50% off. Just, you don't even order a second one. You just get eight for 50% off and free shipping. Wait, wait, so if you go to adamy.com right now and you select any one item. Yes. And you just, you'll just get 50% this off. This isn't like a BOGO. This is like a this just is better one. Than BOGO? This is better than BOGO. B-T-B-O-G-O? B-T-B-O. B-T-B- you heard me? Yeah. <laughs> 50% off and free shipping. It's a win-win. Yeah. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter offer code wild till nine at checkout and you'll get 50% off almost any item. Go check out adamandeve.com today. Select one item and get 50% off, including free shipping when you enter offer code wild till nine. That's W-I-L-D-T-I-L and the number nine. Wild till nine at adamandeve.com.